My uh, first child, a son, was born a few days ago. Um, and like all new mothers, uh, my wife uh, is convinced that the baby is perfection, God itself, all that kind of thing. Um, in a way, I feel the same way, but you know, my more analytical side says, <laughs> no, it's just a little baby, that's all. Just a human being. No different from me, no different from any other human being that has ever been born. Um, I'm not trying to say that I don't love the child, I most certainly do. But, again, I like to, you know, sort of analyze things and sort of say what's it like to be a little baby and what does it mean to be a newborn, etc., etc. Now, what is the nature of a human being? Um, now, this question is important. What value do we have? What are we? Um, and the answer to that, generally, I, if you ask me, says more about the person who is answering it than it does about the actual value of human beings or the value of human life or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's an important question. What are we? What is our value? Uh, what does our existence mean? Um, whatever. Because um, in my previous few videos, I've been saying that logic is essentially something that we have deified and we now worship. And some of the worst offenders at this sort of thing, if you ask me, are self-described rational atheists. Uh, they can't see that logic is simply a way of correlating information, and information, information, only exists in here. Information is a concept, concepts exist in the head, nowhere else. Um, so, logic is now a tool. To analyze that tool, we have to decide what the creator is. The creator is logic, or sorry, the creator is a human being. What are human beings? That question makes a lot of people very uncomfortable. Now, I could, I can understand why, say, a religious person would be uncomfortable by that, um, or would want a clear-cut answer handed to them so they don't have to think it through. In other words, are we fallen beings that are horrible and, you know, we need to claw our way back up to redemption? That's what some Christians think. Or are we, um, are we made in God's image and um, we are therefore somehow above everything else? That's the Christian answer to that kind of thing, and it doesn't, doesn't do it for me. Um, but um, you ask an atheist, what are we? What do you mean, what are we? Okay, what's, um, you know, what's logic? Okay, well, they, the atheists that I've run into, a lot of them will say that logic is an absolute thing. And then I say, no, it isn't. It's just a creation of humans. The atheists are the ones who start to squirm a bit when you say, no, 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 we got to look back into the mirror uh, to find out what logic actually is. It's interesting, because I notice this in, in things like looking at natural selection and things like that, where atheists and people who believe themselves to be rational and free-thinking recoil at the idea of putting humanity above logic, putting humanity above science. That is a bit too much for them. And they almost have, almost, I would say, a religious um, reaction. What happens if we take any benchmark away from us to judge ourselves by? We need something up there in the ether as a yardstick to make sense of ourselves. Because we can't do that by looking at ourselves. Why not? What are you afraid of, atheist? 